Okay, this is the second video in a series of videos that I'm going to be recording for writing a lab report. In the previous one, we created this document, this uh, lab report, which is not too much. Uh, it's going to be filled. I made it a little bit, you know, it's a bit different than before. Um, I put a few enters there, brought it down. Um, I did it the way that I like. I like uh, my introduction to be in it next page and so on now what I want to talk about this time is about the results and discussion section of your lab report and specifically about adding pictures to your document how do you add a picture to your document and not screw it up because what I've seen a lot of times people just drag and drop a picture and that is going to become a problem when you make changes look let's see um, I have this folder oh, this one put that there put the, this one oh, windows you see if, if it was Linux I could have dragged this window to this side if this is my second monitor it would have snapped it very nicely but it doesn't do that in windows 7 all right let me close this navigation pane okay so what people would do is either you go for example if you're in introduction i'm gonna i'm gonna add my pictures to my micrograph section in the discussion a lot of people do you may go to your hold on um let's bring this okay there we go you may go to your pictures tab and in insert menu you see there's it says insert there's picture tab and then you would go and navigate to your picture okay that's one way of it you can, you can click insert and it's going to drop that picture in but that's not what we want uh, well you know you can do that it, it takes too long but what you can do is you can have your folder open and then you can drag this and drop it wherever you want it like here there we go. So that's the picture in and what normally what people do is that they leave it there they may add a few description to that for example this is my picture number one uh, you would have a caption for it right under that picture written um, fig one dot brass or no, we're talking about steel. Okay, even though these samples are for brass, uh, you know, let's not lie. Uh, brass at 11.79 degrees C. Okay, and then you want to make it a little bit nicer. Uh, you you can you can center that a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Now the problem is this. If, look, you added this picture. First of all, you have to make sure that your picture is wrapped in line. Do not choose any one of them. Okay, these they are good and useful, but not for the purpose of writing a lab report. And there's a good reason why you should always choose in line with text. Because in line with text means this becomes a part of your text. Word will see this as text and it will treat that like so. If I write stuff, it will not change its location. And I can, if you know what, if this picture was smaller, like this, okay, I could choose whether this picture should be to, to the left of my document or centered or right or justified event. Okay, I can do that, even though it doesn't make any difference, justified and left aligned. Okay, you can, you can do those stuff, but you can only do this if it is in line picture. So if you have one picture, always make sure that it is in line. I cannot do that if my uh, wrapping is, for example, I don't know, through. Like, look what happens. Okay, it doesn't reserve the space left and right of it for the picture. It's going to fill all the empty space with the text. Okay, so what I want is in line. All right, and I want it to be centered like that. Okay, now 
you can if you have I don't know two three four pictures and then you're dropping them in your text go ahead and do this okay here I have three pictures I'm gonna add three pictures here let's do that uh, this is figure number two I'm gonna add this one right under there it moved down here I'm gonna resize that and I want it to have the same size as the previous one okay let's just maximize, maximize this I want my two pictures okay oh uh, by the way if you do not have this view these two pages side by side you can have that by holding control down and the middle button of your mouse keep rotating that and it will do this okay now uh, when you have multiple pictures you want to have some consistency between them I want these two pictures to have the same size you can click on it go to picture format and then you can define the the size that you want for example if it is 3.5 height that I want I will give the same number to my other pictures and make it look consistent and nice 3.5 and it's not doing that let's see okay there we go they look different though yeah their widths are different anyhow at least their heights are different let's make the widths same 4.5 for that one this guy I want you to be to 4.52. All right, okay, that looks the same now. Okay, so if you have a few pictures, you can just drop them in your text and number them in the in the order that they appear. Okay, if you had a picture, for example, here in introduction, you would name that figure one, and this one would be your figure two, if that was the case. Okay, but here in this text, I don't have anything added yet. I'm going to name this figure one, and then this one. Obviously, it's going to be figure or fig two. Let's go. Okay, change the case fig dot two, and then it is uh, brass number two. All right. So this is one way of it, and it, it's fine as long as you have a few pictures, and also remember as long as you're going to name these figures in your text only once or twice. It is fine. You can do this, okay? But the problem is this. If you have this figure one, okay, and then you're going to make changes to your document. For example, you're going to add later on another figure here, and you're not, it's not the end of your text, you're still working on it, right? You, you're going to add another figure. Suddenly, you have to change this figure number to figure number two. This is a problem, especially when you have added text here. Fig one shows whatever and whatever, and fig two, blah and blah. Okay, so what happens if I add another figure here? Not only do I have to change the figure numbers of all of the figures that I've added, but also I, have, I should go in and search in my text and find out wherever previously I had figure one, I have to update that thing to figure number two now after adding a new figure up here. And this is a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work, but it's something that your software can take care of it. It's easy, it's five line of code. If you can do it yourself, go ahead and do it. But you know what somebody else has done it inside word and you don't have to worry about that but you just have to use it so this is how we added this picture I want to give it a proper figure number that word can keep track of so that if I added another figure up here word can automatically update this figure number for me and also take care of all the places that I have added those figure numbers, figure number one and two, okay? We want that to happen automatically so that we don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's see how we can do that. First of all, you have to introduce this picture to the word, to tell word that keep track of this for me, okay? How do we do that? We erase this figure number one there. 
you're going to right click on your picture that you added and you're going to click insert caption if you do that you can add caption to many different things but three famous ones are equation figures and tables you can also create your own um, your own categories let's say okay? but the one that you need to be using for now at least is figure and table okay this is a figure and it already knows that this is figure number one you can make changes okay, to the way that this looks can I, can I update this uh, if I go to new label I can say this is fig for example if you don't want it to be shown as figure one you can say this is fig one okay it'll look like that or you can add just fig and let the numbering happen on its own fig Dot. There we go. So this is fig.1, and I want it to appear under my picture, not above it. So in tables, when you're numbering a table, it, it will appear above your table, but in figures, it, it should appear below your figure. Okay, so it's going to appear there. Click OK, and that is my caption. Very well. I don't like the color, and the reason it is blue is because if you go to your styles, this is a caption, okay? The caption of the, the color of caption is set to blue. You can modify that. Go ahead and turn it to black. Automatic or choose black. There we go. You can play with its uh, font size. You can, you can make it 10. From this point on, whenever you add a figure number, it's always going to be black and it's going to be at text size 10 all right so i want that to be figure one and there you go that's now a caption for that all right let's do this let's do this one this one i'm going to right click i'm going to go insert caption insert caption it's a figure and it already knows it's figure number two it's below the item it's good all right good and i can say uh, new brass at 11.79 degree C okay good so this is automatically numbering of the pictures but we also wanted our text to be automatically updated whenever the numbers of these figures change how do you do that Okay. let's just say we have a nice sentence now uh, below we low we have now I have to say figure number one right so you're gonna erase that and then you're gonna go to insert it says cross reference and your cross reference you're going to you have many different options here okay you can go to your figures you can go to your figs and I have two figs selected Th these are the labels that you've made do you remember yeah I made fig I made fig one I made fig. these are previously defined figures okay I made fig so fig one is the one that I want do I want the entire caption which is written here to placed here in this sentence no what I want is just label and the number so label is the fig dot and one is the number okay let's go there insert and we're done close okay so it says below we have fig one showing whatever so on the next one i'm going to say fig two Go to your insert, go to your cross reference, and by the way, I'm going to make your life a lot easier. You don't have to every time come dig through all of these menus to get to this insert cross reference. I'm going to make it easier for you. Just bear with me. Okay, so uh, I want only label, pick two, we're done. And okay, good. All right, how do I make this process go a little bit faster? Look, everything that you're using too, too many times. And you can find it in, the, in these menus. Okay, just right click on it and it says 
add to quick access toolbar now it's gray in my case because I've already added it here it's already up here you can do the same thing so if I later on if I'm in a different like I'm in home menu and I want to add a new cross reference okay I'll go here I'll click that little button up here. This is my quick access. It jumps into the dialog box as well. You can do that. All right. Now let's see how Word takes care of adding a new picture to this document that appears before the ones that I've added. Now let's just say we have a new picture that we want to add here. So that new picture is, for example, this one. Let's add it there. Um, it's too big smaller size, I want it to be centered, right click, insert caption. So Word knows that this new figure appears before the previous one. It gives it figure number one. I'm going to insert that. Figure number one is the new brass. Okay, good. So what happens to my text? Your text is already showing figure number one, but this is the old one. This is referring to this guy, which is showing figure two now. So I have to update this. How do I do that? Okay, what you're going to do is this. Select the text, right click, and it says update field. Click that, and it's going to change this link here. This is a, this is a link, basically, to the new name of the previous picture you can keep on adding stuff here and when you're done at the end just select the text and update it there's a shortcut for updating and that is f9 you can select that and press f9 it'll update it and this makes your life a lot easier so a couple of things add your pictures in line always insert caption the way that I showed you right click insert caption and when you're adding your insert inserting your caption choose a proper one okay if it is a figure it has to appear under the table under the under the figure and not above it okay and so on every now and then you're going to select your text you're going to press F9 and you're going to update your field now there's also another scenario. Sometimes you have to add pictures side by side because you want them to be comparable to each other. How do we do that? That is what I'm going to show you in the next video.